This is a woodpecker. And if you've ever seen them before, you know that they love to bang their beaks against trees, against telephone poles, and they do it all the time. They do it to build their nests, they do it to communicate, to find food. But have you ever wondered how can they do it for so long without actually getting a headache or a concussion? Well, if that's the case, you're in the right spot because my name is Andrew Dandrew and I am on a mission to answer all of the universe's most important questions, like why woodpeckers don't get any brain damage. During pecking, a woodpecker has to withstand forces of up to 1200 Gs. That's 1200 times the force of gravity. The Air Force did some tests in the 1950s and found out that humans will have trouble surviving sustained forces of 46 Gs. So there's a huge gap in between the forces we can take and woodpeckers can take. And it seems like the woodpeckers have a secret that keeps them from not dying, I guess. The secret is their anatomy. And it all starts at the eyes because woodpeckers have a third eyelid that not only protects their eyes from any pieces of wood or any debris that could fly into their eyes, but actually keeps their eyeballs from popping out when they peck. That's so cool. Then their tongue starts here, like every normal tongue does, I guess, and wraps around their head and then gets attached in between their eyes and basically works like a seatbelt for their brain. But that's not enough, is it? So the next piece of the puzzle is their neck muscles, which are very strong and they contract before every single strike so that the force of the strike doesn't go straight through their heads, but instead gets diffused and sent throughout the body. But the most important advantage they have is their skull. And Chinese researchers studied the skulls of woodpeckers under the microscope. And what they found out is that woodpeckers went through some adaptations that actually made their skulls more strong and more elastic. If we were to peck, when we would impact something, our brains would just bounce around in our spinal fluid. But woodpeckers don't have this fluid and their brains are very tightly packed in their skull. So with each and every impact, their brain doesn't actually move around that much. Moreover, the orientation of a woodpecker's brain makes it so that whenever an impact happens, a very large portion of the brain makes contact with the skull. And this is a, a lot better than just having a small patch take all the force of the impact. And you can think about being able to lay on a bed of nails compared to not being able to step on a nail because that won't end well. Then there's the beak. And the same Chinese scientists discovered that the beak is very similar in terms of build with their skulls. So it is able to absorb the shock of the impact instead of sending it directly to the head. All of these mechanisms appear to do a really good job to protect woodpeckers from getting any sort of brain damage because otherwise I guess they just wouldn't live for so long and adapt to peck if they were to get any sort of brain damage or massive headaches every time they do it. So yeah, it appears this is, uh, this is their secret and they do not actually get brain damage. Or do they? The studies show that woodpeckers have a protein called tau. And this protein is a marker for brain damage in humans. And while we do not actually properly understand how this protein works in birds or in humans, it appears that woodpeckers do actually get some damage. We need to do more studies to fully understand it, but I think this is the perfect proof that you should not go and start banging your head 1200 times per day in order to court somebody. You should probably just take them to dinner because the headache will be smaller and the brain damage is well. Wait, what? Yeah, well, that was a bad joke, but you gotta get used to it if you're watching this channel. If you wanna see me again, which I guess you don't and that's fair, but if you do, you can harness the power of that subscribe button over there. You could also hit the like button if you like the video. Uh, if you don't, just shut up because I don't wanna hear it. I mean, you could leave me a comment and let me know how much I suck. But until the next one, just be a nice guy, you know, do some nice stuff. Take care of your pet. Um, shower often because showers are good. Um, take your supplements, work out, you know, have a good sleep. Um, listen to some good music. And yeah, I, I kind of digress too much. So I got to end this video right now. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully have a nice day and week. I would say year, but 2020 sucks so bad.